A lot of Real Madrid fans, Eden Hazard, took to social media and said today, I'm sorry, I've read lots of opinions about me today and it was not my intention to offend the Real Madrid fans. It has always been my dream to play for Real Madrid and I came here to win. The season is not over and together we must now battle for La Liga. Uh, Ala Madrid. Well, Don and Shaq is still with us. We welcome uh, Rodrigo Fai as well, who joins us from Madrid. Rodrigo, you've been writing about this over the last 24 hours. He's apologised. It's all forgotten now, I imagine, in Spain, isn't it? Well, supposedly it's everything is forgotten, but, you know, Real Madrid fans uh, are still in anger with uh, with Evan Hazard because uh, those images right after Real Madrid was knocked out of the Champions League by Chelsea are something that maybe Real Madrid fans are not going to forget quite easy. I mean, even in the club, you know, everyone is in anger with, um, with Hazard. Maybe, uh, you know, people from the ball, people from inside the club, and, of course, even teammates that forced him to post something like uh, we said before uh, in his social networks because you know it's something that uh, Real Madrid cannot accept you know a player that right after Real Madrid is knocked out by Chelsea in the Champions League laughing and joking with some rivals uh, on the pitch of Stamford Bridge is something that Real Madrid never 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 has seen before. Stevie you said um, before we went to air that you don't quite see it as a big deal as other people do. No not at all listen up until the mid 90s um, you just never you never had anything to do with the opposition whether it was before the game or pretty much after the game. But that, that has all changed a long, long time ago. Every single weekend, every single game, regardless of what it is, or whether it's a final, a semi, you name it, all we see is players hugging each other, saying hello from the opposition. They're old mates. It's just old hat. Now, it looks bad that he's smiling. Right. But you know what? He's just, he's just talking to you a guy who clearly was a good mate. And if I'm walking into a good mate of mine, I, I pull something up from the past that we enjoyed together. So, does it look good? No. But come on, you've got far bigger problems. Real Madrid have got far bigger problems with a team without just trying to put the, put the blame on Hazard and make him some sort of scapegoat. There's way more things that are more important than just him getting caught laughing. Don, do you have as much sympathy for Hazard as Stevie does? I, I oh, was yeah, stunned I mean, when I was I... watching it. Sorry, Dan, I was I was stunned when I watched the images last night, having commentated on the game. And I was, you know, I was looking at the reactions of Tony Kroos, Luka Modric, and they were in tears in the middle of the park. And then I saw Eden Hazard laughing and joking with a couple of ex-teammates. I thought that wasn't the, the right place and the timing was awful. And I thought it was unprofessional. And then if Stevie thinks it's not unprofessional, then fair enough, I might give him that. But then you take the emotion into it. I never it. said it was not and surely, surely he's got to have a little bit more about him than laughing on the pitch at Stamford Bridge when Real Madrid, one of the biggest clubs in the world, have just been dumped out of the Champions League semi-final. There's a time and a place for that. You can go down the tunnel, you can go in a players' bar, you can do whatever you like, but not in the middle of the pitch. I never said it wasn't unprofessional. I just, I just said that it, it, it doesn't look good. But you telling me this is the first time it's ever happened for it with anybody? I don't think so. And by the way, I know you well enough to know that you would have been a carry on with some of your old players coming off the field after the game. <laughs> and considering, considering, not like that, Stevie. Yeah, not like yeah, that, exactly. Mate. So no, 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 no. Uh, not no, like that, mate. No. I would have been in tears. No. I've seen the rashes. Do you know what? They've just got knocked tonight. out. They just got battered. And we're talking about a guy who's gone back to a place where he had so much success, had so many friends, and somebody's probably thrown a little funny at him that, from the past that made him laugh. And we're trying to villainize, make this guy into a villain. In fact, the guy shouldn't oh, have been on the field. Any... How about we ask Zidane why he was playing? Never mind trying to blame anyone's... him for smiling or, or having a bit of fun no, I don't with think anyone's saying he's. I don't think anyone's saying he's a villain, but it's, come on, Steve, it doesn't look good. I mean, he's not been fit for a start. He's out of shape. I said it doesn't look good, but what? What's, all of a sudden it's his fault. Everyone's well, his fault us... because he smiled. Yeah, right. Well, no, that's, that, that's not his fault, but it might just tell you something about his character. You know, when Real Madrid had Cristiano Ronaldo and many, many others, their character has been all about being a winner. That might just tell us something that we didn't already know, by the way, about Eden Hazard. He's quite happy being on the fringes. He doesn't really want to sit at the top table with the world's best. He's not that type of player. He's so did you, question, his, did you question his attitude when he was at Chelsea? I didn't see them laughing and joking when well, they got knocked well, out of the semi-final. Oh, so be, because he gets caught laughing, all of a sudden he's got a bad temperament or he's, he's got a suspicious character. I'm not saying his laughing. temperament's bad. 
I'm not saying his temperament's bad. I'm saying his temperament is quite laid back. Now, Ronaldo would have been in tears. Ronaldo's not laid back. He's a winner. He wants to win. Where what I'm trying to say is about Eden Hazard, maybe he will never, ever, ever get to that level because of his character and because he's so laid back and he hasn't got the drive to be one of the best players in the world. Talent-wise, he be, should be sitting up there with Neymar and Mbappe and Kevin De Bruyne and one or two others. I'm not so sure he'll get to that level because of his temperament, because he's laid back. I don't think there's too many players that got bought for 100 million that have ever been accused of having a dodgy temperament. Uh, Rodrigo, what are the uh, pundits saying? What are the ex-players saying in Spain? Well, they are slagging off uh, Hazard because of uh, uh, what you're saying. I mean, well, we said before, that it's not the image that Real Madrid wants to communicate to, to the whole world uh, because it's nothing that every player has uh, has done before. And secondly, because um, you could be very laid back, you could be funny, you could be uh, very, very close to the people, very close to your ex-teammates uh, such as Hazard. But the thing on Hazard is that he played, I mean, he coached two years ago more than 100 million of Euros. He did nothing in two years. He's been more than twen- more than ten times injured. I mean, and the and the times when he was on the pitch in in these past two years, he did nothing. He did nothing at the level he's supposed to be. So that's why everyone here in Spain is completely in anger with him and the ex players too, because they consider that Real Madrid, that Zidane, and even the teammates of Harter have been waiting for him, having been very very patient, very calm, trying to wait for him to be at the level level that everyone thinks he should be at. And the thing is that Hazard has never been at that level. And apart from that, you see, once you get knocked out of the Champions League that he's laughing, he's joking with his uh, teammates from Chelsea. I mean, it's not nothing serious. Rodrigo, if this was, say, for example, Sergio Ramos joking with an op- uh, opponent player after this, the fallout wouldn't be the same, would it? No, no, no. If Sergio Ramos had been that, I mean, he would be killed now for everyone, for everyone in Spain. The thing is that, I mean, Hazard, uh, we could see that he has very good image, but the, the thing of, of, of the difference in between uh, Hazard or Sergio Ramos is that uh, Spanish people, we never, never saw how Hazard could play. And that's the thing. I mean, for, for us, Hazard is just a great, great player at Chelsea or uh, the Belgian national team, but not here in Madrid. I mean, we never see him play. So that's why it's something very different. And, and, and because of one main thing, Sergio Ramos or Cristiano Ronaldo or Thibaut Courtois or maybe Benzema, I mean, they never, never had something like that. Never, never would do the, what, what, what Hazard said or did. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.